Hi, this is Harvey at Fagoholics. I have many times people ask me, how do I root cuttings? There's many different ways people root cuttings. Uh, people use um, lung, um, fiber, sphagnum, moss. Uh, people use, you know, humidity bins, misting, um, greenhouses, um, many different things. Oh, core, they will root it in damp core. And um, I've tried different things, and oh, perlite is another um, rooting media people have used. And for the last um, two or three years, I've found really good success in using ProMix HP potting soil. Um, it's about 35% perlite, 65% um, peat. Um, I found that it drains well, it doesn't get too wet, um, it holds enough moisture, so if I, don't, I can't water every day, um, that's okay. But the other thing, um, so that my sign doesn't dry out, my cutting doesn't dry out, I wrap the top. Now, I also learned from a long time propagator, I wouldn't say it's a big trick, but he cuts along the edge like this. And what I found when I've checked out some of those cuttings later is that there's a lot of roots along that cut area. So this gives a bigger area for roots to form. Um, the hormones where roots form are mostly in the area where the nodes are, where buds are at. So cutting through that, I try to cut about one quarter inch below a bud. Um, now I'll wrap the portion I plan to be exposed above potting soil with parafilm or some, some other similar material. Um, this just prevents the cutting from drying out. So you don't need a high humidity bin, uh, misting, it makes it simple. You stretch it as you apply so that the bud, the tape is thinner and the buds can push through very easily. The ProMix is already dampened. So now I'm just gonna insert it. You know, really, you don't need too much exposed. You just um, need some buds. And I, the mo more you have down below, the better chance you have of having good moisture. Now one thing, if you have a pot um, that is shallower and you push the pot, the, or the cutting rather, down close to the bottom, a lot of times that bottom portion of the pot is gonna be wet and it's gonna rot down there. So here I've got an area, you know, the cutting is maybe down to about here. I can set this pot in water, let it wick up some water, and you know, dampen the rest of it, but it won't be too wet. The high moisture area is gonna be down here, so you're gonna have less rotting. Now here, just as an example, is a cutting. Um, you see, this is about five weeks ago that I rooted this cutting and just for the fun of it here we're going to just show what this looks like. I don't usually use a grafting knife this way but I'll sharpen it again. But let's just look at what has happened. So you can see roots are down here. Sometimes we'll see Roots higher up here, but the roots are down low. I believe this was a pretty long cutting. I don't remember where the bottom of it is. You know, this is, I have a duplicate of this. I'm gonna experiment even further to show what happens here. Let's dig down and take a look. Yeah, so it was a long cutting, so this was down close to the bottom. Not all the way down to the bottom though, but let's, For the benefit of science here, I'm messing with the cutting quite a bit. I'm trying to see if I can see where I cut this cutting. I don't want to kill this cutting. I can't really see. It looks like here is where I cut, and so I do have roots coming up here more, but most of them came from the bottom. I had adequate rooting there. Here is a photograph of another cutting that better demonstrates the roots that grow along the side where I've made a cut. You can see this in five weeks, this is rooted fairly well. 
and um, I could have not disturbed it and already moved it into a larger pot, but I'll pop this up and let it recover. Thanks again for watching.